Who's starting? I don't know. Are we doing elbow dances? Oh. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> don't hurt. <coughs> Oh, hey, Katie. Oh, Katie. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Basically, what we want to do today is just recap, wrap up on all the books that we've read from May uh, to August, um, which there is 27 of them. Yeah, 27, and I read five of those. Of course, Billy read more, as per usual. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but yes. It's not a competition. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, <coughs> we thought uh, we would just. Um, make it fairly short and sweet for each book because there are so many. I love how we uh, always say it's going to be short and sweet and then I mean, it ends up being 40 freaking minutes long. <laughs> I mean, the actual reviews will keep short yes, and sweet. Hopefully. Because, well, yeah, we might get carried away. <laughs> Very true. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so um, the first one that I have to talk about is the third book in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series, which is Life, the Universe and Everything. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I won't talk too much about that particular, what happens in that particular book, because it is the third. Um, mm. but we've got Arthur Dent, who is one of the only humans that have survived the Earth being destroyed. Uh, and he's traveling off in space mm. with a whole bunch of robots and aliens and all sorts of things and crazy shenanigans <laughs> happen. It's very funny. Very As good. always, with Hitchhiker's Guide. Very good. So... That one yep. was first. Yep. Then I have... Boy Swallows Universe, oh. Trent Dalton. Was very uh, popular, still yes. is, but <laughs> this is kind of a late <laughs> to the party review, I guess, because you read yeah, this back, back in, in May. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So that one is <coughs> quite an Excuse interesting me. book. <clears throat> it's um, set in sort of a small town in uh, Australia. Mm. And um, everything that kind of comes with a small town, mainly in this particular one, a lot of drugs. Yeah. Um, well, very common in um, rural Australia. I mean, it's common everywhere, but, but definitely, you know, concentration of a lot of heroin in mm. particular. And so it's set in the 80s. Um, yeah. And it's a, for this particular boy. And his stepfather who's in the drug trade in this small town mm. and a lot of intense things happen um, mm -hmm. it's very very well written um you listened to the audiobook didn't you i did and yep. i very much enjoyed that audiobook i don't <laughs> typically like um audiobooks that aren't read by like british english or or irish or yeah. scottish I don't know, just to, to my ears and my mind, oh my god, the cat. Ooh, the cat's uh, <laughs> participating again. He's okay, he's gone. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um, you were talking about um, so, British... So, yeah, yeah, so I don't know, it's just... <coughs> it's, a, it's a weird bias that I have where I'm like, I just think books should be written by people with those accents. And you mean read, not written? Read. You said written. Oh. <laughs> I mean read. Yeah. <laughs> Not Just clarify. <laughs> I only read no. Um, so anyway, so this one was uh, narrated by an Australian gu yeah. uh, guy um, uh, who I can't remember his name. We can put it in the description. But he was really yeah, but he was really good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. It's very brief, very short. Didn't go into much detail, but. I mean, I do recommend it. It's Although, a really interesting book. It's yeah, if if you're interested in kind of rural um, depiction of rural areas, especially maybe Australian, if you're watching from overseas, which most content on YouTube is not mm -hmm. Australian based, it's an so, interesting book to pick up. Definitely. Um, <coughs> there's yeah, look, it's a, it's a fairly like heavy book in parts. There's a lot that happens. Yep. It's quite. Again, intense. surprising for you, another heavy book that you choose. 
hate heavy books, but you keep going for them. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. I had to take it, like, I had to read it at particular times. But yeah. There was one point when the book where I just was like, I need to know what's happening. Yeah. So I just, like, blew through it. Totally. So, yeah, that was that one. Yeah. Um, the third book we're going to talk about is by Mamrie Hart. Ah, Mamrie Hart. Really yeah, um, She's so freaking uh, it's the I've got this round more tales um, of debauchery. I think so. Something. Yeah, uh, no more tales of debauchery. Oh, yeah, okay. you got it right. I couldn't remember. Um, so we she's, she's I, a YouTuber. She's a YouTuber. Again, we read this. Well, we listened to the audio book. Maybe her. in June. It was quite a while ago, and it was read by her, which is fabulous. And if you guys haven't checked out. Her and Grace Helbig's podcast, This Might Get Weird. Oh, it's so Please funny. do it. It's we so listen to it every week and it's hilarious. Yeah. Anyway, off topic. <laughs> um, yeah, so we listened to her, to her book. Of course, it was filled with ridiculous stories about her life. And, yeah. like, she purposefully went on adventures to try and find, to write for this book. But I feel like the type of person she is, she could just walk into a cafe and something weird's going to happen. Absolutely. Um, Half the things that she's, like, she's <clears> talking about, I'm like, I either I'm just not paying attention <laughs> or, like, she just attracts the weirdest <laughs> things. Yeah. The weirdest, random... She has quite a colourful life. <laughs> yeah. Really funny. She's pretty... <clears throat> so that's, yeah, that's an autobiography. Yeah, and it was, it was fabulous. You get bits about her life, her past, and her current uh, shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I would highly, highly recommend it if you would like a bit of a laugh, something light to read or listen to. I would actually recommend listening to it. Yeah. Because she has the most amazing southern accent. Yes. I love it so much. American, yeah. Um, yes. And, yeah, check it out. Because <laughs> you should. Because you should. Exactly. <coughs> oh, the next, next one's mine. Next is yours. What we is actually it? have this book. Light Fantastic. Light Fantastic. <laughs> the Light Fantastic by Cher Cherry. Cherry. By Cherry Pratchett, a new author note by Terry Pratchett. Um, this is the second in the Discworld series. It is a continuation um, of following Rincewind, the Wizard, and Two Flower, the Tourist. Um, I really enjoyed this book in particular because we get to go into more of the world and see what's happening. Also, you get more development in the characters. The first book, <clears throat> The Colour of Magic, was more of an introduction to the entire kind of like continent, the world. Mm -hmm. And this one is, is really good because you get more of character development and you get to, <clears throat> excuse me, follow them a bit more on their, <laughs> their ridiculous journey. Of course, it's filled with Terry Pratchett's unique sense of humour, mm -hmm. um, which if you haven't read any Discworld, uh, why? Why? <laughs> why not? <laughs> Please pick it up. Do it now. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to actually say about this book because a lot of it is is another journey that they're taking. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> I had laryngitis a few weeks ago and I've still got the cough, so I'm sorry. Not the best time to be filming, but too bad. Ugh, we're here. This cat won't, yes. won't leave me alone, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm doing off. <clears throat> but yeah, you've also read this book. Do you want yes. to say anything in particular? Um, <laughs> no, it's just the first two, The Colour yeah. of Magic and Life Fantastic, are a really good way to get introduced and get familiar with the world, yeah. the disc world in general. Totally, and Rincewind is ridiculously sarcastic and amazing. Yeah. Two Flower is infuriating. <laughs> I still hate him. <laughs> I thought I would warm up to him, but I still want to punch him. So, um... Because he's so optimistic to a fault. Yes, he's like, he people are dying and the world's crumbling around him. And he's going, no, we're fine. We're not in a pickle. We can just sit here. Yeah. So, yes. <laughs> so, lots of fun. Lots of silliness. Again, a really nice, like, light kind of read. And it's not very long. So, you can get through Colour of Magic and Light Fantastic fairly quickly. Mm. Yeah, so make sure you pick that up. Okay, next up is one of yours, I believe. Uh, so the next one mm -hmm. is So Long and Thanks for All the Fish, which is the fourth book in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series, yeah. which again, 
I won't. I think you also have the fifth here. Talk yes, about, you also yeah. have the fifth, which I, is because I read them mostly harmless. Mostly harmless, yeah. Because I I wanted to do the whole series, so yeah. I've now read the the whole series. <coughs> You're sorry. done. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm no, I'm oh no. I'm joking. <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted to read the whole series yeah. that was actually written by Douglas Adams. I'm not planning to read the sixth one, which is written by, uh, written by somebody else. Mm. And the cat is. Ah! No, no, paper! Oh no. Sorry. Cat's ripping up paper. <laughs> oh, he's grabbing for it. No. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> you, didn't, you don't want to read the sixth because it's not written. Oh, it's not written by Douglas Adams. So, <clears throat> so yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. So, that's all. <laughs> I finished reading the series. I really enjoyed the series as a whole. It was really good. Yeah. Um, the ending was interesting. Um, oh no! <laughs> oh no! But there you go. That's Intriguing. But um, I refuse to read the sixth one. I just I'm not interested. Fair enough. Yeah. So uh, the next one is Lumberjanes Volume One, mm -hmm. um, by Noel Stevenson. Mm -hmm. Is that? Is she? I can't remember if she. She does Nimona as well. Yeah, yeah. I know she does Nimona, but um, did she write and draw, or was she just a writer? Not sure. We'll have to double check. I'll that. have to double check that one. Mm -hmm. I know it's written by her. <coughs> yes. But I couldn't, can't remember who did the art. Anyway. Not sure. Um, so yeah, I finally got around to Lumberjanes Volume One. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. I really want to carry on with the series. It's not super like dark or intense, which is what I enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was a nice <clears throat> antidote to. I think I was reading it at a similar time as Boy Boys Universe. Universe. Because I like to do that. I like to read. <laughs> Co-read. If, <I'm> <laughs> if I'm reading something really intense and heavy, I like to read something light, slightly more light and fluffy. Along with and it. And that was light and fluffy-ish. And it was a lot of fun. Just, it's uh, like Girl Scouts or they're they're on like camp in the woods. Yep. With a bunch of girls, all different ages. Yep. And encounter supernatural things and fun. And they go on adventures. It's, it's great. It makes me like really wish I'd done that kind of thing. Yeah, like the kid, kid in you is like screaming. Oh, I want, it. I want, I it want so this. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could go back and <coughs> do like <clears throat> that kind of thing. Totally. Go in the woods and learn how to tie ropes. I don't know. It's just it's. I very much enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> go in the woods and learn to tie ropes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I imagine they do. But I mean, like, you know, they get to learn how to build fire. Of course, that was just rather adorable. Sorry. So, yeah. Yes. That one. Um, <laughs> yeah. What's next? <laughs> <coughs> Coughing fit, apparently. Yeah. Um, okay, next up we have Nevermore. Nevermore. That's that was me. me. And also I read Wondersmith as well. Oh, you want to do them together? Yeah, why not? Let's do them together. It's so, good. yeah, we have Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow. Wondersmith, The Calling of Morrigan Crow, <laughs> Morrigan Crow, both by Jessica Townsend. <coughs> um, Just a quick shout out to these co covers. Yes. I adore. Aren't they beautiful? Mm. They're the best. Yes. I've seen lots of covers, but I, I yeah, I really like these ones. Um, but yes. So when I first started reading this, I had seen a lot of reviews saying kind of like oh uh, it's it's a similar story that we've seen before uh -huh. similar to Harry Potter uh -huh. um you know a lot of those fantasy elements are mixed in there there's a baddie and there's you know kind of like a chosen one which I, I feel and like, like a Hogwarts and yeah like a Dumbledore and like, totally you know, like all this kind of thing personally though I feel like <clears throat> Obviously, there are similarities if you if you compare those things. However, I feel like they were quite different. Mm -hmm. I really like her style of writing. Mm -hmm. um, the world she created was quite fascinating. Mm -hmm. And the different kind of rules in the world and the abilities that people have and the creatures have. What I particularly like is that she includes a lot of animals that are magnificent and ridiculous and... Animals. Yes, <laughs> but I'm saying that they, it's not just kind of like humans and their uh, animals that are a part of the world. Like my favorite thing about this world is that there are animals in particular that have roles and jobs and it's great because 
I always wish that animals could talk to me and do stuff. Because <laughs> why not? It would be awesome. But yes, this is the first one. Obviously, this is the second one. I actually preferred the first one. I like it. Sets up the world. The second one I still enjoyed. But... I'm not entirely sure what it was. I felt like... The second one's quite different to the first. It's really different. Um, it's a lot about the things she has to go through. Well, without spoiling too much. Yeah. yeah. But it's about, you know, kind of a lot of things she has to go through. And I feel like a lot of the book is taken up with that. Also, another thing that I have a problem with in the entire series is that she never knows what's going on. Morrigan never knows what's going on. And he's not told you. She's not told anything. Yeah, she she never knows what's happening. She's not told anything. And I find that really frustrating. Because I was thinking at some point... It, you would kind of get to a place where... She's told what's going on. You know, she's developed a bit. Hmm. You know a bit but about her. That. Not enough but to my liking. Do you mean... It doesn't happen soon enough in the book. Yeah. It takes too long to it get It takes there. so long. Right. And she just... She's always kept in the dark. And that's something I found particularly frustrating while I was reading the books. Overall, I really love them. But that's something that uh, stands out in my mind as a bit of an irritation mm. that I had with the books. I mean, that's totally fair. It, it doesn't... <coughs> Sorry. It, it, no, it's okay. It, it doesn't bother me as much as it mm. bothers you. Yeah. It, different it different really, styles. Yeah, yeah, it really wasn't an issue for me. Like, that yeah. in particular was not an issue for me. Yeah. I just very much enjoyed going on the journey, finding things out. I mean, to be honest, I was a bit frustrated during this book because mm. it feels like everyone's against Morrigan. Yeah. She's not having a good time, and it's really, like... And it's hard to read that. Yeah, it, it goes on for quite a while, and it's quite you know, dense, it's and it's like... like... Um, it's like in Harry Potter, when Harry was, like... Going through that really angry teenager yep. phase, which is totally like normal and of natural. course, and it should Everybody be depicted. Goes, yeah, but it's just hard to like read about it sometimes. Totally, so, but I think uh, the fact that it was there wasn't necessarily that it was hard to read about that topic in this particular book. No. I feel like it was dragged out a little bit too too much, yeah. too far. Yeah, I I'd, I'd, I'd agree with that. Yeah, but overall, lovely. <coughs> overall, really I recommend them. As a series, yeah. Definitely. And like Billy said, I enjoyed getting lost in the world and going along for a journey. However, I had some issues yeah. and frustrations. Yeah. So yes, keep that in mind, but definitely read them. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So those are those two. Uh -huh. Next. <coughs> Next. Um, <laughs> uh, Nimona by Noelle Stevenson. Oh, okay. Yeah. So same person who did Lumberjanes yeah. did Nimona. Mm -hmm. uh, another comic series. This one was... Uh, illustrated by her. Yes. So, written and illustrated. Um, oh, I hope I got that right. Anyway. We will clarify if not, if not there yeah. will be text on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Right here. Right here. <laughs> um, so, this Nimona. You love Nimona. I really, really liked it. It took me so freaking long to get through it. Yeah. It's not that long, and it is a comic book, but... Um, comics take me a much longer time than yeah. than normal books because, or just novels, wordy books with no <laughs> picture. Um, so because it, because it just takes me longer. The writing tends to be smaller, detail. The detail the, I want to actually see what's going on in the picture. Yeah, I like to give the artist as much you know attention as, as they you can, can. Yeah, um, because they do put a huge amount of time and effort. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, it's okay. Yeah, into the into the the art. Yes, uh, of it. So yeah, uh, so it does take me a long, long time. Totally. But um, I very, very much enjoyed it. It was a really cool story. Mm. It was this like medieval world with <laughs> knights and villains and things and. Uh, I love how she dresses too. Oh, I love her. She's got like this side. Shaved and so like cool. Hair. She yeah. has a shapeshifter, yeah. and she wants to be an apprentice to the villain in the in the village in this town. Yeah, what? Nice she's name? pretty cool. Yeah, she's <clears> great. <throat> and she's like really volatile and like angry, and mm -hmm. it's just like you know in 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 uh, Austin Powers when Scott says to Doctor Evil, you know, I can just go and get a gun and shoot him. Right? <laughs> like we can do it together. Like that's what she's like. She's like. Why don't you just kill him? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Why is it so like, hard? And he's like, that's not how it works, and that's not how I do things. <coughs> and, you know, so uh, I just, 
it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of. It was really interesting. Yeah. She made a lot of good um, uh, comments about the characters and about people and everything. Mm. So I really recommend that one for sure. Has some insight. That's good. Yeah, mm. that was cool. Very Locked cool. Yeah. Okay, the next two you have is Lock and Key, Heaven and Earth, and Lock and Key, Small Worlds. So these, uh, so Lock, the two Lock and Key. What was it? Heaven and Earth and Small World. Small World. <clears throat> so those two are. Um, what are they like? Little one shots combined into two volumes. Okay. Because um, Lock and Key is a series. Yes. Yeah, so so Lock and yeah. Key is, is a six volume uh, series, uh, comic book series. Yep. By Joe Hill and Rodriguez. What's his name? Oh no, I'm so bad. I've forgotten everyone. We've got it over there. Yeah. Um. It's okay. Uh, we'll put it in. And um. I don't normally like horror and scary things, <laughs> um, and Joe Hill is the son of Stephen King. Yes. Um, and <laughs> Interesting choice again for you, really. <laughs> it's just the world was so cool. I know. It was this, this house where <coughs> like, there's all these different doors and yep. all these different keys, and the keys have all supernatural abilities yes. and do all different things, Yeah. and like we don't even know all the keys that exist, and like creepy, weird stuff happens. Yes. <laughs> Uh, which is why I actually haven't finished it yet. Oh no! Because <laughs> I can't. Yeah, because I can't. It, oh. it scared me too much. Yeah, you I got had to scared. Start. I did, um, but I really, really enjoyed it. So yeah. um, again, it's just another one that's taking me a while to get through. Totally. For all these reasons and more, um, but it's, I very, very much enjoyed it. Yeah. And these were just uh, sort of separate to those stories, so I knew I could read them without having finished the series yet. And did you find them to be um, creepy as well? Is that his MO? Uh, Just some, like Stephen King. Some of them, some of them were, yeah, pretty not fun. Like, yep. There was a giant cockroach, and I was like, Oh, uh, yeah. Personal favorite of Billy's is cockroaches. <laughs> I, can't, I can't handle that. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah. So, um, Lock and Key, brilliant <coughs> series, really brilliant series, re- brilliantly yep. written. The art is excellent. Um, oh, the art is really idea, beautiful. Amazing concept very well put together yes um i haven't finished it yet so i suppose i can't completely recommend the whole series oh right but yeah. as far as i've gotten i recommend it um even yeah. if you don't like horror well because i'm not a fan of horror but i started reading them too and i think they're awesome yeah. so yeah 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 so that's that yeah. <laughs> next um hansel and gretel neil gaiman oh neil gaiman <laughs> uh, can, you can't go wrong with neil gaiman and us <laughs> yeah. I just love him. Yeah. He's so great. He is. His take on Hansel and Gretel, obviously. Yes. Uh, I love it. Um, go read it. <laughs> just go read it. That's my review. Really? Just, just go read it. Really? <laughs> just go read all of Neil Gaiman. <coughs> ever. <coughs> Excuse me, yeah. I probably have to second that. Yeah. You don't even need to know how good or anything about him. Go and read the books. Or... Uh, don't read them. Listen to them, cause he narrates them. <gasps> yes, like he voice, did Coraline. <gasps> and his voice just makes me melt. It's so good. I love it. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, him and like Stephen Fry and totally. Like, there's a couple if of you like British accents, Irish, yeah. Scottish, whatever. But if you particularly like British, English, yeah. And English, go yeah. go listen to Neil Gaiman reading his own books. Yeah. Absolutely. Also, I really like authors who read their own books because you yeah. can see the pace that they meant yeah. to have it read. And the kind of the voices yep. and the and the Their tone. idea behind yeah. that character. Because was... I can read someone's um, dialogue and think, oh, the, here's the inflection. This is the tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, actually, nope. it's happened to me a couple times where I've actually listened to an audio book after I've read the actual the, the, physical the physical book, book yeah. And I was like, oh, that's funny. That's not how I interpreted no, what they were saying. Not at all. And it changes the meaning entirely. Totally. So I find it really cool. Yeah. yeah. So this was a retelling of Hansel and Gretel. Yeah. Yep. That's all you need to know. <laughs> By Neil Gaiman. And it's great. So very good. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Um, Paper Girls, you have volume three and four by Brian K. Vaughan. Yes, and Cliff Chang. Yes. We have one and two. Oh, do we? My mistake. But we do not have number four, I don't think. No, we don't have three or four. But. but Paper Girls, um, which yeah. admittedly I picked up because of Cliff, uh, <coughs> Cliff Chang. Where's the... Do you need a hand? 
Yeah, Cliff Chang, artist. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, um, I love Saga, which was also by... Yes, Saga is Brian amazing. Cable, and I love the Wonder Woman run that Cliff Chang uh, did the art for. Yep. And so these two together, I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. I'm here for it. <laughs> so, uh, this is about... a a group of girls in the... Oh my god, this cat is scaring the hell out of me. You're so oh. sensitive to the noise. I don't know, it's just today he's scaring It's all me. good, just the cat, guys. Okay. Nothing happened. And nothing happened. <laughs> okay. So, group of girls <coughs> who do newspaper yep. deliveries in the, like early in the mornings, in the 80s. Um, they're doing a thing, uh, and they suddenly get... Um, they're doing a the thing. They're doing the th their thing. Okay. See? Oh, so uh, they're, they're doing delivering. Thing. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also the art. The art is beautiful. Um, <clears throat> and they um, suddenly get, like, warped and into <clears throat> the future and, like, all sorts of stuff. Uh, adventures, time travel, aliens, um, woo, conspiracies. <laughs> Um, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. Ooh, conspiracies. Ooh, conspiracies. <laughs> nice. Kind of sounds like Stranger Things. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't watched I know, Stranger Things. But still, it's just sure. the idea of it. It sounds like Stranger Things. <coughs> Review by Michelle. <laughs> Who hasn't watched it either? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just talking out my it. ass right now. <laughs> I thought you had watched a bit. Okay, no. Right, so... um. No, I really love it. It's good fun. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. And maybe even romance. Oh, oh. a little romance. romance. <laughs> okay. You got uh, A Bear Called Paddington, oh, Paddington by Michael Bond. And I had not read <coughs> Paddington, I don't think, no. before. So this was fun because I love the movie. Yeah. The recent one. You do. You're obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Um, I just, oh, it's so cute. And like pastely colours and everything's so cool. Oh, I just want to live in that world. Aww. And Paddington's a little annoying. Oh, I was like, what word are we getting right now? Because <laughs> he just like, you know, he just breaks everything he touches. So you're just like, just stop. Yeah. Just don't. Just don't touch anything. Just don't. <laughs> just do nothing. But it was fun. Yeah. I think, I, I can't remember, I think it I is, must have um... needed a break from oh. something and I was like, Paddington, that's going to be light and fun, <laughs> and it was. And it is a children's book. It yes. It certainly is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Very cool. We like children's books. I love children's Quite a bit. Yeah. We have like a whole section off camera, which one day we will do a bookshelf tour. Oh my God. It's just, there are lots of books and yeah. we keep putting it off. Yeah. But there's, yeah, a whole like section off camera that's filled with children's books. Yeah. So, yes. We'll do that one day. You will see that one day. <laughs> okay, so we have Next. Captain Marvel, Volume 1. Oh, right. Yep. Finally got to Captain Marvel as yep. well. So, Sally Du... What? Conic. Kelly Sue Kelly Sue DeConic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not working today, apparently. <laughs> yes. Marvel, Captain Marvel, superheroes... Uh, You're um, not so much into the Marvel at this minute. I'm um, I'm a bit over superheroes at the moment. Yeah. <clears throat> You've um, had a bit of a bit of your fill. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need something else from the superheroes other than Bang Pow. <laughs> yeah, and save a lot the day. of it, a lot of it is Bang Pow. <clears throat> um, yeah. Save the day. Yeah. So did I don't you know. think it was good? I did. I yep. enjoyed it. Um, you like the writing, you like the good. story. Yeah, I just, it's not my absolute favourite. Yeah. Um, but again, I'm coming to it with a bit of fatigue. Yeah, so over superheroes, for yeah, sure. I might not be the best person to give a like, completely honest review. Yep. Because I'm just sort of, I was reading it and thinking, I don't really feel like reading this. Which uh, is never a good thing to do. No, so you should have put it down, basically. Well, it's only, but yes. you know, it's a, it's a volume, it's a graphic novel. It doesn't take sure. that long. Well, normally. That's okay. Anyway, All right. yeah, so that one. Cool. Eric by Terry Pratchett. Yeah. Another Terry Pratchett. <laughs> it Please. would not be a video with us if there, if wasn't, there wasn't a Terry, Terry Pratchett. Pratchett or a mention of <laughs> oh, Terry, Terry Pratchett. Pratchett. <laughs> Say Terry Pratchett. <coughs> <laughs> Terry Pratchett. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Eric. We don't have Eric yet. No, we don't. Uh, eventually we will, like, I think eventually this whole 
first row will we'll be, be disc world. Just disc world <laughs> novels. Yeah. Because there we, is 40 something. We currently have one and a bit boxes one of and a bit. Terry Pratchett. Yeah. It's being shared with Neil Gaiman right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Eric, what is Eric about? I haven't read it, so you'll have to tell us. <laughs> Hold, please. Okay, so back again. Mm-hmm. Um, I just had to go remind myself because it was actually quite a, <clears throat> Eric's quite a short book. Oh, yes. Um, and uh, because, again, I read it. was it, a while ago. It was a while ago. I couldn't remember exactly what it was about. And I have been reading, like, one Terry Pratchett book after the other, so they yeah. are bleeding in a little bit for me. <clears throat> so at some point I'll have to go back and reread some of them that I really did enjoy. Yeah. Um, Eric was not my favourite of them all. It wasn't terrible. Um, you know, Terry Pratchett at his worst is still really yeah, good. Yeah, it's still good. So, um, oh, Ooh. kitty. Oh, kitty. What's kitty. happened? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, Eric, he's this little brat of a kid who wants to rule the world, wants the most beautiful woman to fall in love with him. And once immortality, <coughs> and like the three wishes, yeah. or something, and um, instead, Rincewind and the luggage turn up. <laughs> so <laughs> he's not too happy about that. Rincewind's not too happy about it either. No, he wouldn't be. <laughs> um, so yeah, look, it wasn't my favorite of them all, um, okay. but it's still, you know, it's still good. I still liked it. It was a sort of three and a half stars okay yeah yeah so yeah again it's not terrible no i mean i still um really love going postal in particular yeah yeah. i think that's kind of like a height of his like a high point um but yes all terry pratchett is pretty good all terry pratchett like billy says even his worst is still really good quite enjoyable yeah can be very funny yeah silly yeah Absolutely. We will never say bad things about Terry Pratchett. <laughs> mm. Okay. Song of Achilles, Madeline Miller. Oh. So we have that one. Yes. Did I get it out? Uh, did you? Yeah, I think so. Is it here? Yes. Well, hey. <coughs> this is called planning, apparently. This is this is called planning. Aha. Um, Call today of... and we'll send to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, continue. Sorry. First and foremost, um, this cover. I love this I cover. I know, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. It's so, I just want to touch it. And yeah, it's got a really nice feel to it. Yeah. So obviously it's a paperback, but they've kind of done this... What do you even call it? I don't know. Textured. Words are... Yeah, textured. Like Words are tracks. killing me today. I love it. Yes. It's beautiful. So, enough about the physical book. Hmm? I listened to this. It was very... Uh, the cat... <laughs> oh my he's god. literally destroying the books. He's he likes to jump behind the books. Anyway, ignore the cat. Continue. I, I, I mean, it's I'm fine. trying. Continue. Okay. Um this was a beautiful book. <laughs> beautiful story. Um sad. Oh. <laughs> uh because it's it's rooted in Greek mythology. Of so course, so it's gonna be it's tragic. Gotta be, it's gotta be It's gotta sad. be tragic, yeah. Um but it's the it's the beautiful relationship that Achilles and Patroclus have, mm. and um, how they navigate that, and uh, during the Trojan War, the Trojan War, <laughs> yes, Trojan War. <laughs> how annoyed you got with yourself? <laughs> I was like, no, that's wrong, and I was like, yes, that's right. Mm-hmm. Um, it's I love her writing so very much. Yeah, and I love her <clears throat> take on. On Greek mythology, yeah. same with Circe. It was, you know, she took a story that was not much, um, mm-hmm. you know, bits yeah. and pieces of Circe's story yeah. in other people's stories, brought yes. it together in a beautifully written book. Yeah, and I'm really digging the Greek mythology kind of trend that's happening yeah. with a lot of writers lately. Yeah. It's really nice to have some modern interpretations of some of the myths that are amazing some of and stories the stories that have been around for, that know, have been around for so long. Mm. Yeah. So, um, I really, really love this book. I really yeah. love her writing. Um, I love her characters. I love the way she writes people. Yeah. Um, the re- I like the relationship between these two. It was complex. It was, you know, it was difficult. It wasn't mm. all easy. And 
I mean, it couldn't possibly be, and it was mm-hmm. no. fraught to be, you know, yeah, to um, to start with. It was never going to be a bright, shiny, happy ending. No. So, but I mean, it's not hard. Well, it is a bit heartbreaking, but <laughs> uh, it, it's intense. It's worth it. Yeah, but it's, it's worth, worth it. The ride. It's worth the journey. They're beautiful. They're sweet. They melt my heart. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a cutie. So yes. Fair enough. Read it. Totally. Yeah. Okay. So yes, that's up. Mary Poppins, Pale Travers. That's you, Next. sweetheart. <clears throat> Next is Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Um, I <laughs> had my mother tells me I'd read. Like that we read <coughs> ages ago when, when you I were was like a child, much younger. Mm. Um, I don't really remember it, but uh, reading it again as an adult <laughs> is quite interesting. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. What can I say about that? The Mary Poppins of the books is, I mean, everyone not says the this, same. Is not the same as Julie Andrews. No. Um, that portrayal of of who Mary Poppins was, not the same. No. Not entirely. No. Um, the children are much more like like she arrives yeah in the book and they're immediately like mary poppins we love you and i'm like what how why <laughs> she's not very nice not yeah. very warm and um yeah but still like it's still the same as the movie it's the adventures and the fun and the magic of it all it's, it's great fun it's just interesting it's to have just... a harsher version and a colder version of this wonderful Mary Poppins that kind of our generation has... And so many generations. And so many of, before, because, but mean, I'm saying, yeah. you know, in particular, Disney, uh-huh. Disney was Mary something Poppins. that yeah. we really grew up with, our kind of, like, age group and people before. So, yeah, it's quite a different thing to see that kind of really magnificent and beloved character be so different. And I was interested that it was so popular <clears> because she was so... She was very, like, cold and distant and mm. not affectionate and not loving. Um, yeah. Which it would be quite different if it was written now. I mean, obviously it would be different yes. if it was written now. I mean... Oh, oh, overall, but yes. But, yeah. She'd I, be received quite differently. Yeah. Um, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, I definitely... I mean, if you haven't read Mary Poppins as a classic, it's something that you probably should read. Yeah. Because it's in the... Very interesting. In the social... What? Conscience? Oh, yes, I know what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. So it's that. one of those books that you're supposed to have read. Sure, yeah. Um, and I, I would imagine the way that it's written and everything like that kind of has that speak about it of, uh-huh. like, you should be reading this, you know? It's, I mean, yeah, and it's it's like... <coughs> I mean, it's not as bad as Enid Blyton in terms of, oh. like, sexism and racism. Yes. <laughs> but um, it's very old-fashioned in yeah. the writing, you know, and I... It, I can imagine it would be old-fashioned even for the time. Ah, um, I see. Which Enid Blyton was as well. Definitely. When people talk about Enid Blyton, they're like, oh, you know, but put it in context. But actually, <laughs> she was, like, at the time, people were saying, this is not this is not okay. No. <laughs> people were already protesting, and they were living in the time she released yeah, it. Yeah, so, so, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that was a bit of a tangent, but yes. Yes, it was. Um, Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. So that's Mary Poppins. Next up, we have Sex Criminals, Volume Three. Sex Criminals, Sex Criminals by Matt Fraction and Chip Zdarsky. Yeah. Um, Good job on that last name. Yep. I really, really love, really love this <clears throat> series. It's very, it's honest yeah. and like no warts and all about sex and sexuality yeah. and relationships and um, actually a lot of um, uh, psychology behind sex yeah. and sexuality and um, I just just now finished volume four mm. um, which uh, we get introduced to uh, somebody who used to be in porn uh, and is yeah. now a professor. See, I haven't got that and far into it, but yes, I have to catch up. And how she's treated, and mm. she was talking about, like the character, yeah. was talking about how how people, what was it, like her experience as having sex with people as a professor versus having sex with people as a former sex worker yes. is what she was saying and how people like treat her differently and like 
so, in a different context. Yeah, because they don't know her as this. So, I don't know, it was like, it was super cool. Yeah, really, very interesting. Really, it's really nice They're really when... smart, these guys that yeah. are writing it. And they, like, I get, just get this feeling like they know a whole lot. Yeah. Or they have, like, a wealth of knowledge from somewhere, you yeah. know, that they can just tap into. And... Either way, it's really good to see such positive depictions mm -hmm. of sex, sexuality, also sex workers, because uh -huh. it's such a, <laughs> like, catastrophized kind of, thing that people get into like oh my god no there's something wrong with you this is yeah. not right yeah. how would anyone want to do this yeah, yeah. the people who are who are using horrible. the service yeah. look there's it's really nice Everything, to see some positive yeah. um representation of sex workers yes and just like uh, like gay sex like yeah sex exactly it's fine like, exactly and all different kinds of sex like yeah there's in in the thing there's you know kinky and non yep. and like you know between friends and between lovers and yep. between all sorts of different lots of different people. relationships and there's even an asexual character yeah um there's yeah anyway look, yeah no that's great it's a very very interesting book it is very explicit obviously yes. so don't read it if you are uncomfortable are uncomfortable <laughs> with that yep don't read it if you don't like crude humor or well, maybe best not to read it in public. Uh, yes. <laughs> there might be some funny looks because yes. there's a lot of, like, they draw the human body. Oh, in hold this for a second. We have um, a volume. We just don't have all of them. Yeah. But yeah. But for example, gonna give them a fun tidbit. Yes. Yeah, so you keep talking about what you're talking about. Give me a sec. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm you were saying, saying don't do it in public. Yes, because um, I got bored at work and was reading it because there was literally nothing to do one night. And um, I started <laughs> reading and then I thought, yeah, this is not a great idea. Because I flipped to a page and I was like, okay, close that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for example, like, yeah, they're just obviously having sex in this scene. This isn't like particularly raunchy, but... Yeah, I'm sure. Are we going to get, is our video going to get taken down for that? No. <laughs> but yes, um, Sex Criminals. Yeah. Definitely start reading it. If you haven't read it, go read from it. volume one. Yep. If you were in the middle of it, keep reading it. <laughs> yes, do it. Okay. Do it now. <laughs> um, All right. Next. Uh, Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Oh. We have the book over there. Another children's classic that I hadn't read yeah. until this year. Yeah, L. Frank Baum. It's yep. great. Um, it's quite different again. Different to the movie. Yeah. Uh, very much enjoyed it. Loved it a lot. Um, and just how beautiful is this copy? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's um, amazing and it's green and it's just so shiny and pretty. And I can't remember, I can't remember what these editions were called. Oh. Cause That's okay, we'll put it in the description. But yeah, there it's oh, illustrated as well, so. I think it's the original. Yeah, which is amazing. It's got that new book smell. Yes, it does because we <laughs> didn't purchase it that long ago. But yes, yeah, yeah. Wizard of Oz, and yeah. this one is the first five novels. But you read the first. Just the Wizard of Oz, yeah. the first one. Um, yeah, it was <coughs> really nice. The uh, well, I listened to it. Yeah. Um, it was read by Anne Hathaway. Which yeah. was great, because she did the great voices. Yes. Um, it was really good to actually read and uh, the, the book, finally, after watching the movie. A million yes, times. exactly. And I love the movie, and I really love the book. Yeah. Um, it, like, the movie cut out some stuff from the book, obviously. Of course. So it was really nice to be like, oh, hey, that's new, that's interesting. Like, yeah. that doesn't happen. And Didn't get that detail. Like, they changed uh, the the flying monkeys are completely different in the book. They're yeah. actually slaves, and they don't like what the the wicked witch is doing. Mm. But they have to do it. And yeah. Anyway, all this stuff is really cool. I can't wait to carry on with it. Yeah. Um, because it's just such a good. It's quite series. an interesting world as well. Again, it's something that kind of sucks you into this world that's so different. Yeah. From the one that we live in, which is always fun. I. For me, that's like a lot of the purpose of reading. It's to <laughs> yes. suck me into a world that's different and to learn about something that you would never experience mm. until you read a book about it. Absolutely. Yeah. 
yeah, open you up to new experiences and exactly. new things. Absolutely. All cool. Right. Next. Next up is The Boy in the Dress by David Williams. Williams. Oh, sorry. Williams. The Boy in the yeah, Dress. Yeah, so we started listening to this book together. Mm-hmm. Read by David Williams and Mike Lucas of yeah. Little Britain. Yeah. Both of them. And we didn't get you... very far into it. <laughs> and you noped out. And I was like, nope not interested my massive issue was we're not very far into it and the hatred and language used for people who are um bigger than an average kind of overweight who are overweight who are bigger than an average kind of body are demonized basically and put down and it was awful i was like yeah i'm not here for this (laughs) It, it happens in a lot of kids' books where the fat kids or yeah. the fat people yeah. are nasty, horrible, gross human beings. Yes, and even if they're nice people, they're made fun of because they're overweight. Yeah. And it's just, it was like, I, I'm not dealing with this bullshit. I'm not giving this book the time of day. Yeah. So I, I said no. Billy continued. I, on. I I went through it because I wanted to read it <clears throat> because I was interested <clears throat> In a the children's concept. book where a boy wears a dress. Yep. Um, which I thought was really cool. <laughs> um, but. I didn't love it. <coughs> that was a major <coughs> issue that I had as well with it. Yeah. Again, the language around people who are overweight or are bigger. Yep. Um, but also just, I thought, you know when people sometimes <coughs> talk about people who write <coughs> about things that they don't really know much about. Yeah, that's the sense I got as well. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing at all. Like, you should write about all sorts of things, not sure. just what you know. No, of course. It's just I definitely got the sense of, like, I don't know. Like They weren't you well informed. don't really know what you're talking about. Yeah, they weren't well informed. Um, plus, I have a bias against David Williams because mm. I don't really like him. As, a, as person. a person, yeah. Um, but I really enjoyed uh, listening to what was it? The um, the one about the mammoth and Christmas. Ice monster? Is that what it was called? Oh no, I'm forgetting everything. I I did enjoy that mm-hmm. a lot. Um, and this was his very first book, I think. Um, so, you know, yep. maybe he's improved. Yep. Um. It's possible. But I just, yeah. I, I wouldn't recommend it. I was it. a little bit disappointed. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I will, no. I'm going to go on a mission to try and find other kids' books that deal with, <coughs> that um, have, you know, queer people or, or just yep, children who different are dealing things, with, you gender know, gender issues. Or, but also children who are dealing with any kind of difference. Yeah, yeah. Um, that from like wearing different clothes or. Yeah, because I'd really like to find toys, someone that, gendered. some of them that I can be like, yes, recommend these, and these are really good resources for parents and for kids who, I mean, like, look, I believe that everyone should be reading these things. And Absolutely. Everyone should be learning about different people in the world. Absolutely. So I don't you see should why read. You shouldn't. <laughs> but you should read the books that, and let's say fairy tales. You should read the traditional ones that show you what people think uh, then mm-hmm. and the kind of social norms that we've been like pushed more towards and then you should also read the alternatives you know as well absolutely you should read both like read the 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 traditional absolutely version of hansel and gretel read it but also read neil gaiman exactly and uh, mm. the, sp- the um what was the other one the spinner spinning silver and the spindle oh and neil gaiman yes sleeping beauty yeah read the traditional but read that one yeah that one's better. But also um. the interpretations are now more modern. Yeah. So, you have yeah. To update. Yeah, these I mean, look, uh, obviously we say we don't recommend that book because I also didn't like the way it was written personally, mm-hmm. but it might show you something that, you know, wasn't so great or had a perspective that you didn't necessarily agree with. That's not a problem. It actually tells you more about what you like and what you don't like. Sure. And will push you towards other books that maybe you're looking for this from it, like Billy's saying. Hmm. You know, you want this particular thing. Yeah. I was... Ho- yeah. Look, it's not awful, 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 but I just... Yeah. I think that there's better out there. Yeah. That's what I think. No, fair enough. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Then Next. we have A Nancy Boys and Black Dog by Neil Gaiman. Back to Neil Gaiman. Oh, right. We have them. Yay. 
So, <clears throat> Anansi Boys. Yep. And Black Dog, which is a very short one. Yep. Um, just a little short story about Shadow and what yep. he's up to. Um, so Anansi Boys finally got got to it. Yeah, I haven't got to it yet. Audiobook read by Lenny Henry. Very, very <clears throat> good. Love that. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Big, big freaking surprise. Yeah. I like a Neil Gaiman book. Um, this is the last, like, kind of continuation of the story from yeah. American Gods, isn't it? In the, in the world. So yeah. it doesn't follow... So the first American Gods follows Shadow, Moon... Wednesday. And Mr. Wednesday and the war between the <clears> old <throat> gods and the new, <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Yep. This is entirely different. This follows Charlie Nancy. Um, yep. And I don't want to say... I don't know. How do I say this without getting... It's... Ah... <laughs> uh, Okay, so his dad dies. Not a spoiler, <laughs> by the way. I mean, it happens very early on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, his dad dies, and suddenly he discovers a whole world that he didn't even know <coughs> existed. Very cool. And he gets drawn into it, yeah. and he is just this, like, average dude, and he's just like, what is going on here? I didn't even know, like... In true this. Neil Gaiman fashion, particularly for this world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's quite different as a protagonist to, than Shadow. Because of course Shadow he would be. in the books was very much like just numb and nothingness and yeah. didn't, didn't, didn't really question. react and didn't question. Whereas Charlie's just like, what in the world? Oh, he's called Fat Charlie. Yeah. Nice. Called Fat Charlie. Nice. Yep, no matter what he does, he's just always called <clears throat> Fat Charlie. Yep. He's not even fat. Yep. <laughs> he says. But he's just called Fat Charlie. Yep. And um, <laughs> stuck with him apparently. He's engaged to this woman <clears throat> whose mother hates him. Oh, how nice! And <laughs> <coughs> uh, they haven't slept together yet. And, and they're engaged. And they're engaged. Whoa. And they're going to get married soon. And they haven't slept together. Huh. And, his mo- and her mother hates him. And nice dynamics. <laughs> yeah. And uh, his father dies, and yeah. so he has to go off and deal with that. So he lives. He's was born in America, but they moved to England, so yeah. then he has to go back to Florida to deal with his dad's things. Nice. And cool. I don't want to say No, that's fine. More. I think that's fine. It's like when I did American Gods, I was like, I uh, will tell you this, and that's about it. You have to read Neil Gaiman. <laughs> you have to read it. You have to. Do it. <laughs> do it and do it now. Yeah. Okay, I definitely cool. read American Gods yes. first, and then this one, even though this isn't uh, a direct sequel, No, 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 you have to read American within Gods. within the world, but you need to read American Gods first. It's a little tough to get through. It's massive. It's, like, it's really long. Mm-hmm. But it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Get to the end of it, and then make your decision. And then you'll thank us later. Exactly. Okay, Black Dog. Oh, no, again, just a, a little, <coughs> little short story about yep. what... Shadow's been up to. Oh, that's right. You said I'm sorry. Because it'll just. Yeah, it was just coming back to him and seeing to, what he's up to. You'll get to it. Nice. When you get to it. Great. I really did love it. It was pretty creepy. Just <laughs> of course. It was pretty freaking creepy. Of course. But yeah, that one. Next. All right, last one. We have Trace Evidence by Kathy Rikes. No, we don't. I didn't. I read that in September. <clears throat> <laughs> Just finished oh one. no! Never mind. Forget that. That was that's the last it. One. Oh, the last two books by Neil Gaiman. Finish in a true us <laughs> making uh, mistakes. Not us doing things fashion. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Look, we made a video <laughs> for the us. first time in since June. Exactly. <laughs> High five. <laughs> so what now? We're done. We're done. We'll come at you again with another video at some point. No yeah. promises, no expectations, no... Re- regrets? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say no regrets, but I meant no disappointment. Ah, yes. <laughs> Expect nothing from us and, and you'll be satisfied. <laughs> no, we're really hoping to kind of be back on a regular basis now. Yeah. Um, things have been hectic. We say this every time. Our lives look nice and calm here with our books. But yeah, sometimes it's a bit uh, tumultuous and crazy. 
So that's kind of where we've been coming from in the last few months. Mm -hmm. But we're pretty happy to have this video up and running. Yeah. So yeah, we hope that um, we can come soon with another one. Yeah. At least with a September wrap up. We will do a September <clears throat> we have to. Pinky yeah. promise. You saw it on camera. <laughs> Hold us accountable. <laughs> but yeah. All right. We're all done. Yeah. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.